Till now we have uh, seen that what is a OR operator, what is AND operator, bitwise operator in Python. And now we will see that what is a XOR operator here. So now let us, uh, let me take an example here. Let me take A equals to 5 and uh, let us say B equals to 3 here. And we will be printing the output of A XOR B and how A XOR B is taken. So you have to take this upper arrow mark symbol or the uh, power symbol also. So if I run this code, the answer is coming as 6. So how this 6 is coming, let us see with uh, XOR operator, how the answer becomes 6. So now the binary value of 5, what I can write? So the binary value of 5, I can write as uh, here 101, okay? And then I can take the binary of 3. So 3 of uh, binary, I can write 0, 1, 1, fine. So next is I need to find what is the XOR operation between them. So here I have to do the XOR operation between these two numbers. So, what it will be? So, XOR operation says that if both the values are same, uh, then the output is equals to 1 or else the output is equals to 0. So, here you see both the values, uh, so 1, 0, sorry, I said the uh, reverse. So, when either one of them is equals to 1, then the output is 1 or else the output is equals to 0. So, here 1 and 0, in this case, the output will be 1 here. Okay. So, next is 0 and 1. So, XOR operation of 0, 1, 1, it becomes 1 again and 1 XOR with 1. So, both are same. So, that is why the output becomes 1, 0 here and that is why 1, 1, 0, if you convert that to a decimal number, so that becomes 6. So, that is why the answer is 6 here. Uh, so, let us take another example also. We will see how that happens. So, let me take x equals to let us say 12 and let me take uh, y equals to 6 okay and we will print here what is the xor operation of x y so you write y xor x or x xor y it will give you same answer now here the answer is 10 now let us see how the answer is coming so here if i convert it to binary for 12 so 12 becomes 1100 0, 0. okay so uh, let me just zoom in yeah so, next is if I convert the 6 value to binary here, so this becomes 0, 1, 1, 0. So, why I am writing in 4 bits? Because 12 is represented as 4 bits, so I have to represent 6 also in 4 bits. Now, next comes the result here. So, result is what? XOR operation between them I have to do. So, if I do the XOR operation, then it becomes, so 1, 0, it is different. So, 1, 0 is equals to 1 here, then 1, 1 is there. See, here it is 1, second value and here it is 1 and that is why 1, 1 becomes 0. So, I will write 0 here. Next is 0 is here and 1 is here. So, that means it becomes uh, your 1 and next both the values are 0. So, that becomes 0. Now, if I convert that to decimal value, so what will happen? Decimal of 1010 is equals to 10 and that is why here the answer is coming as 10. Uh, so, this is a bitwise operator of XOR operation. So, next two more important operators are there. One is left shift operator, one is right shift operator. So, uh, please see the next video to understand what is a left shift and right shift operator. Thank you.